explain to me why I feel the need every single day to bring the lipstick that I put on that morning with me in my bag, even though I know full well that there are like at least two, three lipsticks living in here at any point. Because I was digging around in my purse last night and I realized um, half of the mass of my bag is lipsticks. So let's go through them. I did one of these previously. I think I called it Confessions of a Lipstick Addict, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to go through these in 60 seconds the way I did previously in one of my shorts. So we're just going to do it normal video style. So first up, we have the Tarte H2O Balm in Relax. This is one of the, I think, two lipsticks that's actually invited to come along with me every day. So it is a balm, sort of a rosy shade, pretty easy. The cap's a little bit broken, so I'll constantly come across it hanging out in my purse like this, looking very insecure, but the cap never fully comes off, so I guess it's fine. Okay, so there's one. Two, the other lipstick that is invited to come along. This is from Bare Minerals and it is the Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in Wonder. This is a sheer red lip gloss balm, as the name would suggest. I actually think this can come out of my purse just because this was more a neutral go-to shade for me for the winter. Not so much for spring and summer. I mean, I'm sure I'll wear it through spring and summer, but I think I would actually like to switch this out for another shade, like the Bare Minerals lip gloss, so. There's two. Three. This is from Revlon. It's one of their super lustrous lipsticks in mink. Very pretty. Light brown shade, definitely a very different vibe than what we've seen so far, but not invited to come along with me on my daily adventures. Lipstick 4 is the Tristique Prime and Color Lip Glaze in English Rose. Now, why did I feel like this needed to come along with me when the Bare Minerals is a very, very similar color? I'm not really sure but it wasn't supposed to. It was supposed to stay at home or just, you know, tag along for a single day and then leave my purse. Ooh, next we have a fancy little number. This is from Pat McGrath and it is their Flesh Fatale Blitz Trance Lipstick. Because I guess, I needed to bring a glittery lipstick that is basically the same shade as other lipsticks I already had in my bag. Okay, well, that was a choice. So we're at five for anyone keeping track at home. Number six, we have a NARS lip balm. This is their Afterglow lip balm in Fastlane. This is beautiful. I can understand why I wanted to bring this along with me. This is gorgeous. Um, no, I can't be carrying three lip balms with me all the time. But if I was going to carry around three, if I wasn't worried that I was going to somehow kill my back over time and be a hunched over little old lady because I just had to bring all of my lipsticks with me wherever I went, like some kind of, of emotional support device, it would be okay. All right. I don't trust you, Iris. I don't believe that you don't have more in there. Yep, I do. This is another Revlon lipstick. This is their super lustrous shine lipstick in Dewy Peach. I've been kind of looking for this. I'm glad I did this video. Very pretty, at least a little bit different than everything else we've shown so far. This is quite orangey. Is that seven? Yeah, seven. 
we've at least emptied out the first pocket. Now let's check the back pocket and see if there's anything hanging out in here. And there is, I have one more lip balm. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing Lip Balm and it's clear, so I don't even need to swatch it. Okay, that is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And you know what? My purse is noticeably lighter now. <sighs> All right, well, I guess it's time for me to put some of these away so that I can actually wear them another day and uh, reload my purse with other lipsticks for the next month and a half before I clean it out again because I never learn. If you want to know one thing about me, it's that I never, ever learn my lesson. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Maybe check out my previous Confessions of a Lipstick Hoarder video because um, you might like that one too. And I hope I see you all next time. Bye guys.